In this video, we explain why an intermediate language such as bytecode is produced as the final output by some compilers, and how it can then be subsequently used. So bytecode is an example of an intermediate language, a halfway house between high-level source code and machine code. This intermediate language is useless on its own. It won't run without further translation. Bytecode is produced by a compiler that's been designed to translate source code into object code for execution on a pretend machine known as a virtual machine. To execute bytecode on a virtual machine, we first need it to be interpreted by the virtual machine. Producing software to interpret bytecode is a much simpler task than producing software to interpret high-level source code. A bytecode interpreter simply needs to parse and directly execute the bytecodes one at a time. This means the bytecode or object code is highly portable and can easily be moved onto a new machine with a different processor instruction set. Interpreting bytecode is also much faster than interpreting high-level source code, as it's simpler. Bytecode targets a virtual machine, as we've said, and not a real machine. It can run on any machine or operating system for which a bytecode interpreter has been written. In other words, the same object code can now run on different platforms. We just need to create interpreters for each of those platforms. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What is an intermediate language? And what is bytecode?